Hi, PerspectiveWeather.com meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Tuesday, February 23rd. We kind of have a clipper system today to, to deal with in the Mid-Atlantic region. Uh, a little bit of moisture to the north and west. Certainly can set off a couple of rain or snow showers over the next several hours, probably th through the midday hours in places like D.C., Philadelphia, New York City. Then the afternoon should see some clearing skies and some uh, strong winds. It looks like it will become noticeably stronger by the afternoon, maybe some gusts up to 35, 40, 45 miles per hour possible in the I-95 corridor region this afternoon. Then things settle down on Wednesday, high pressure takes control, and it'll turn out to be a relatively comfortable afternoon. High temperatures not far from 60 degrees in D.C. tomorrow afternoon, near 50 degrees up across Philadelphia and New York City. Well, yesterday saw another uh, 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 accumulating snow event for areas generally north of the Mason-Dixon line and this winter has been really in, uh, quite amazing in the sense that a big difference all winter long for uh, areas north of the Pennsylvania-Maryland border versus south of the Pennsylvania-Maryland border in terms of snow accumulation. I, uh, anyone who goes to the Perspective Weather uh, website knows that I do forecasting for D.C. and Philadelphia and New York City and boy there's been a world of difference from the suburbs of Philadelphia in terms of snowfall and let's say the northern western suburbs of D.C. Again yesterday they had what they have typically had this winter with a burst of snow at the onset in the D.C. metro region maybe a coating to a half an inch or so then a change over to sleet, freezing rain and ultimately rain. Meanwhile up north of the Pennsylvania Maryland border substantial snowfall again in some of the suburbs of Philadelphia up to four or five inches in a short period of time really about a three-hour event in some of the suburban areas across northern western suburbs of Philadelphia from around 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. five inches in some areas less snow than that fell up across uh, New York City maybe an inch or so in Central Park not nearly as much as across the suburbs again of Philadelphia where it's been well above normal for this winter season but a big difference just south of the Pennsylvania Maryland border on the northwestern side of DC where snowfall accumulations have been much lower and uh, still below normal for this time of the year. Well going forward it'll obviously be a battle between uh, being cold enough for any snow events uh, now that we're in the latter part of February and uh, the battle between snow and rain. And one of the things we'll watch for as we evolve into the lat latter stages of February and then March is the North Atlantic Oscillation. This is a teleconnection index that we monitor, especially during the winter season and especially during the latter stages of the winter season. The NAO actually becomes even more important, maybe more of a uh, a better signal for cold and snow in the northeast U.S. if it is in negative territory. It seems to be better correlated with the uh, weather conditions in the latter stages of uh, the winter season, partly as a result of the temperature pattern in the western Atlantic. But here we are, still kind of hanging around the neutral sign here over the next couple of weeks here. And there are some indications it could slide back into negative territory over the next few weeks. Again, negative NAO increases the chance for some cold in the Mid-Atlantic region, the Northeast U.S., and of course, uh, increasing the chance for cold generally correlates with an increased chance of snow. This is, so this is something we'll monitor. We do have a couple of cold shots coming over the next week or so, certainly one early part of next week that looks fairly impressive into the Northeast U.S., and that will be at the very beginning stages of the month of March. Well, let's look at the near term here with the latest radar loop, and you can see some uh, shower activity in the form of rain and snow up across east central Pennsylvania. It certainly can make its way into the Philadelphia metro region, uh, areas across the uh, Delmarva Peninsula. New York City can see a shower of rain or snow over the next few hours, and the threat probably exists right through uh, midday. We also have another band out here across uh, western Pennsylvania and now across the northern part of West Virginia. So watch for a potential shower anywhere along the I-95 Carter region for the next several hours. That's D.C., Philadelphia, New York City. Can be rain or snow or some combination of the two. When they all scoot on by, we'll have clearing skies 
later this afternoon and the winds again will kick up to perhaps 35, 40, maybe even 45 mile per hour wind gusts during the afternoon hours. Let's go through last night's Zero Z operational run of the GFS. First looking at the upper level energy fields, the 500 millibar vorticity uh, maxes. Here's the clipper system right here showing up with some energy aloft. That's why we're seeing some showers uh, up across Pennsylvania and uh, throughout much of the Mid-Atlantic region. Right here, upper level energy associated with kind of a clipper system to our northwest dropping to the southeast. Not only can it produce some showers, but strong wind gusts during the afternoon. Then we'll uh, move forward here. A nice day setting up for a Wednesday. It looks like this, this is the forecast map for uh, tomorrow morning. Not much going on aloft. High pressure at the surface takes control again. Near 60 degrees uh, tomorrow afternoon in D.C. and certainly 50 degrees is possible up across Philadelphia and New York City. A little bit colder between D.C. and Philly and New York because of the snow cover that we have up across uh, areas north of the Pennsylvania Maryland border. Then we move forward here. Cold front slides on through tomorrow night. Brings in colder air, more seasonal air again for Thursday and Friday. And at that time we'll watch some energy here as we get into the end of the work week. There will be quite an area of energy up across the uh, uh, Tennessee Valley region by Friday morning and it could spawn the development of low pressure along the mid-Atlantic coastline Friday night, Saturday time frame, borderline cold, but there is potentially cold enough for some snow to be involved in the I-95 Carter region. We're talking again Friday night into Saturday, and later Saturday, ch uh, chances are anything that does fall would be in the form of rain. But this is the next system that we'll watch in the Friday night, Saturday time frame. Well, let's now walk through the surface forecast maps from the Zero-Z GFS model run. Here is the moisture associated with that clipper system. Again, there can be a shower of rain or snow, especially across uh, Philadelphia and New York City over the next few hours, but even across D.C., that band that we saw uh, now entering northern West Virginia could produce a rain shower across the D.C. metro region pretty much through the midday hours and some clearing skies this afternoon as the winds pick up. That kicks on out of here. A nice day setting up on Wednesday ahead of the next cold frontal system that you can see out here, out across the Midwest, some colder air behind it, and um, it, again, near 60 degrees in D.C., 50 plus in Philly and New York City. Cold front comes through maybe with a shower tomorrow night, and it sets the stage for a colder day on Friday, back down in the 40s for highs on Thursday afternoon, and again Friday afternoon. And then we'll watch this system down here. This is the Friday afternoon forecast map. Some marginal cold air in the northeast U.S. and certainly some signs that this could uh, develop into a low pressure area right along the mid-Atlantic coastline. Friday night, Saturday time frame. Could be just cold enough for some snow here. The GFS showing uh, all rain, but there, I think there is some a possibility of some snow to be involved here in the Mid-Atlantic region, even in the I-95 Carter region. Friday night, early Saturday, anything that falls later Saturday, probably in the form of rain. But that's the next system of interest at the end of the week, Friday night, Saturday time frame. So that's it for now. For PerspectiveWeather.com, I'm meteorologist Paul Dorian.